1500 meter race. And there is Susie Hamilton coming back from a Achilles surgery. Left Achilles was operated on last year, and she said it really gave her an opportunity to look at her career, and she's back with renewed enthusiasm and also had some great races this year. Well, she missed all of the 1999 season because of an Achilles injury, thus motivated for a good year 2000. Susie Hamilton! I had this new drive in me because running was almost taken away from me that I realized this is something if I just could have one more chance I would give it everything I have and that's where I'm at right now I've been given a second chance and I'm not going to let anything slip away just going to give it everything well, the, woman's, 1500 meters. the woman she'll be running against is as great as Marion Jones is. This woman, Gabriela Zabo of Romania, was the number one track and field athlete in the world in 1999. And as Carol mentioned at the top of the show, made over a million dollars in prize money alone in 1999. She was the silver medalist at the 1500 meter distance in Atlanta in 1996. And she is a huge favorite to be in the mix Sarah, again, Taylor, both at 1500 meters Taylor, and 5000 meters Taylor, in Sydney Taylor. this summer. She's like the Energizer Bunny. She keeps going and going. And how she wins a lot of her races is she usually goes out in a championship race. She sets an incredible pace, and nobody can stay with her. But if they can, just in case, she can also sprint, too. At only 5 feet 2 inches tall and well under 100 pounds, she's like a little sewing machine out there. Nothing ever changes. Her expression never changes. And those feet just go up, down, up, down, up, down. No matter what the distance is, she's always right there in the mix. A very smart athlete, runs a tactically great race. She's just running off the shoulder of Melanie Steer right now from Brigham Young University, who sets the early pace. Actually, you see... Hamilton in second position. Zabo right on her shoulder. They're staying right together. This is the first time Gabriela Zabo has been on American soil since 1996. And she's taking this opportunity. And the other Americans in the race should feel a great opportunity. This woman's going to be a major factor in Sydney. And to give them the opportunity to run against someone of this caliber can only help them in their training. 65-6 for the first 400. They are shooting for a 210-800 meter time, and then we'll see some uh, some very interesting running as we see the pack start to string out a little bit with Steer leading it with Favor Hamilton and Zabo right there. Should be interesting to see how close they get to this 210 mark. The breezes appear to be somewhat fluctuating. Down on the track, you can't really tell what kind of an effect they may have, but they would affect Zabo probably more than anybody else in the race. Sabo running third, Susie Faber Hamilton running second. Susie, who lived here in Eugene until three years ago, moved back to Wisconsin, decided to run under her maiden name and her married name, Susie Faber Hamilton, to honor her brother Dan. He committed suicide last September, was a victim of manic depression, and she said, by running as Susie Faber Hamilton, it reminds me of his presence and brings to mind the need for a cure for manic depression. Well, she's having an incredible year, leading the U.S. in both the 800, 1500, and 5,000 meter distances. They went through in about 211, 212 for the pack. The, the rabbit did take it through in 210.7, so she did her job well. Now it's a matter of Susie Faber Hamilton. Now what do I want to do? This, this woman, Sabo, has great kick. I also think I have a great kick now that I'm 100% healthy. This will be a great chance for Susie to really measure herself against one of the greatest middle distance runners in the world three weeks before the Olympic trial. She said the other day, I wish the trials were right now. I am so ready and so anxious. She's already made two Olympic teams since she had this year. One lap to go. Well, Zabo has been sticking to her like glue. It's amazing. Susie's been trying to feel her out to see where she is. She is right behind her. I don't even think she knows that she's there. She knows she's there in terms of knowing that she's a great athlete. But Susie is starting to open it up. She's trying to open up a gap on Gabriella Zabo. Hamilton just put on a burst for about 50 meters in the first turn, and Zabo is trying to respond. But the gap is not getting smaller. In fact, it may even be getting infinitesimally larger as Susie goes to the orange with 200 meters to go. The question is, did she go too soon? It looks like she did a good job. Zabo changed her running technique also. She's going into her sprint. This would be, the final curve they come. This would be huge 
for Susie Faber Hamilton. What confidence builder this will be as she'll probably match up with Regina Jacobs at 1,500 meters at the Olympic trials. And here comes Gabi Sabo. Susie Faber Hamilton trying to hold her up. And I don't know. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. You know what? That little girl said, Gabby is up. We talked about that she is tough as nails as Susie Hamilton goes down at the finish line. She looks like she's okay. She's up. She changed from distance runner to sprinter within about five meters. And she, she said, I don't know if I should lose this race. She hasn't lost the race until since somewhere around 1998. She said, no, I do not want to lose. What an incredible race. Susie put a move on in the first turn, and right in here, Saba was sort of in contact, and Susie just said, for 70 meters, I'm just going to put in a sprint and see if I can drop this woman. And for the better part of 300 meters, she did exactly that, as you see the gap widening very, very quickly. But right at the end, Susie's lane was going up in a big way, and Saba was totally focused on the finish line. Susie just broke down right at the end, but she's got to be thrilled with the time and her performance for this close to the Olympic trials. Zabo wins it. Susie Faber Hamilton barely second. Let's go down to Bonnie Bernstein. All right, hang on. She's trying to <laughs> she's actually trying to do a victory lap. <laughs> but I'm running after her. I Bonnie. think I'm gonna run with her. You're showing Susie, great face. so close to winning this race. What happened down the stretch? Well, I'm just starting to work on my speed the last two inches. So I'm not in peak sprinting shape, but I'm very pleased with my time today. Don't worry, I'm not in peak sprinting shape either. But just to think, a year ago, you had to miss the entire season with an Achilles injury, an injury a lot of people don't come back from entirely. I'm just blessed that I was able to come back. And thank God I'm able to run against people like her. So amazing athletes and wonderful people. Congratulations, Susie. All right, I've done my job for the day, guys. Bonnie, I know you did gymnastics at Maryland, but you show an unbelievable degree of versatility going stride by stride with Susie Faber Hamilton. Zabo wins it by six one hundredths of a second. What a terrific race. All right. So